lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer. Back to our channel. In case you're new here, our name's Beck and Connor. Hello. <laughs> and um, we're currently in Alberta and we've come here on holiday from Australia to see if we want to move here. And today is our eighth or ninth day here, I'm not sure. And we've decided to head off to where my favourite TV show is filmed in High River, which is Heartland. So we're really excited. We're going to be taking the back roads there. So we're coming from Canmore, which is where we're at now along to Bride Creek and then to Black Diamond and then out towards High River. We could have gone towards Calgary and down but we decided we want to go this way because well we're country folk and we like to see the mountains and the back country so come with us on our little adventure today. Hopefully we don't get stuck. <laughs> no, yeah, hopefully we don't get stuck. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Way too fast, I was eating roadkill, so oh my god, we saw a deer. Got my favorite road trip and meal. Bit of beef jerky, never tried this one before. Hopefully, it's good. Hey, you gonna have some? No, no? let's try some. Hey guys, we're in Bragg Creek and we just saw some deers again. They were so cute. Look, there's two deers there. Be quiet, shh, she's coming quiet. this way. They're coming this way. amazing trading post behind me so western looking and now we are just down by the river about to take some photos look at that so beautiful and just so blue and oh so lucky <laughs> he's coming over for a photo yeah it's pretty cool it's amazing Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of racetrack that Heartland's filmed on and as you can see it's really snowy here and the racetrack is obviously closed for the season but it's still really beautiful um, over here is where all the rodeo scenes are, fi are filmed 
as well as obviously the racetrack scenes. There's all the scenes where Amber Marshall's leaning on here. And then just behind here is all the seats where they um, have all the spectators watching the rodeos and you've seen Georgie and Jade running up and down exercising on. So this is where um, I think Tim has his race horses in the earlier episodes in these little stalls here. They look pretty familiar. The green and white ones. And over there, I reckon over there. Just driving off down to another Heartland location, but look how beautiful these properties are. Connor's just reversing back. Look at that tree line driveway. It is so pretty. Look at that. Just beautiful. Dream property right there. Guys, we're at the next filming location. It's the little, little wooden chapel seen in Heartland. I'm pretty sure this is where Lou and Peter got married. I might be wrong. Or she interrupted, went to interrupt Mitch's wedding. But either way, it is so cute and so beautiful. Let's go and take a look. Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they my mind near and far Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are Send a prayer if I'm out of Alright, we're off to Black Diamond now and then we'll head off to the next filming location of Heartland. Send me a letter and a bottle of wine Telling me I will be fine Baby, I'm stuck with a halfway heart Slip away if I come too We've just arrived in High River and it is so beautiful. Very different to what's seen on Heartland. Obviously a lot more populated, a lot more shops. Not all cute and western on every shop. But we're about to jump into the museum now and show you guys the museum with all the Heartland stuff in it. Up this way honey, you'll see them up here. Look at all the birds at the front. Oh, there's a squirrel! Look! <laughs> Did you see the squirrel? That's our first squirrel. We've seen lots of animals today. All right, let's go in. Oh, wow. Look, there's the saddles. The Hudson Rodeo. That's pretty cool. So here's the clothes that Amy and Ty wore. Pretty cool. Oh, that's Lindy Bartlett's um, music record cover. That's cool. So all of Maggie's diner. Things. And the uniform from Maggie's Diner. There's another saddle. And bridle. Look, Connor, they actually did this on 4th Avenue where they brought the cattle to the police station. Yeah. Actually brought them all through 4th Avenue. That's pretty cool. I wish we knew where the Heartland Ranch was. There's Jade's chuck wagon advertisement. A few more posters. And then this is Tim Fleming's 
rodeo saddle that he won for bulldogging. It says it all up here, I think. This saddle appeared in season five. Totally unrelated, but in the next room over, there's this really cute little kid area. It's got a little kitchen, little dress up area in here. Don't go in there. Don't go in there, not allowed in there. No, it's my house. So we just paid a little donation, $5 donation to come in. And then you can just browse around and have a look. What are you doing, Riley? You're standing up on a bear. Sitting on a bear. So in the museum we got given this map and it shows you a few locations on here that you can walk to where Heartland films. So we're going to go and check those out now. Oh my god, we're about to head down to Maggie's Diner. And I know you can't actually go in it, it's just a prop, a set. But I can video through the windows and show you guys the outside of it. So I wonder if the horse will be at the front. You know how they've always got that? I think it's a white horse. Nope. How cool does it look? Can we go in there? No, you can't actually go in, darling. That would you mind? Oh, I wish they had chalk here. I would write on there. Somebody did write on there. Wow. Pretty dark in there, but... Can you see? It's a little set. Oh, you can see on here. I just have to hide around. Let's have a look. You guys are seeing it before me. I'm videoing it and I haven't even looked inside. Very hard to video this time of night with the sun right on this window. It's just so weird seeing it in person. Connor said he found the big horse. It's inside, locked up. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys. Oh no, it's a Palomino one. I always thought it was a white one. It's inside the tack room bit. Look at all the ice hanging off. Somebody's a bit tired down there and crying. So this is the tack and feed store part of the diner. I don't know if you can see in there. It's full of tack. That was the um not short of money. <laughs> Got ropes and clothing and horse feed and everything in there. And here's the back of it, Maggie's Diner, Tack and Feed Store. I'm pretty sure in this recent episode, or season, season 13, aren't they picking up rubbish on the back here, Tim and Lou? I'm pretty sure. So apparently on Heartland season, oh sorry, season episode seven? Season seven? I'm not season sure seven. Means. Um, the former High River Mayor, Emily Blockland, arrived, or appeared as Mayor of Hudson in 2012 here. I don't actually remember that one. So apparently in season four in 2010, this is when Amber Marshall and I think Tim Fleming, doesn't say on here, brought down a whole heap of cattle, 30 head of cattle, down to the police station. So that's just in this little car park here and they did it on this road. So this is the main street where you sort of see Heartland filmed when they're sort of parked up or driving. It looks more Western, authentic, Heartland sort of style. I'm pretty sure that one over there is supposed to be the chemist, wasn't it? When one of them went to go get a pregnancy test. So this is George Lane Park and was apparently in season five. I don't remember it, but I'm thinking in season 13 when Georgie graduates, this is also used then. You see it, oh, Tilly? Oh, another one down there too. See, Tilly? Down there. Can you see Run. Might be a bit deep though. 
Who's gonna go up the tree? <laughs> so this is the pavilion we we're just talking about. I know it definitely was in season 13 when uh, Georgie graduated from high school. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be here and now I know when I rewatch it where that I was there. So that's it for us today guys. It's um, a bit of a drive back to Calgary so there are a few other spots you can do on this tour but we highly recommend it. Connor's, or he watches Heartland but I'm more into it and he still had a good time. If you're interested in the rest of our Canada episodes of coming over here and potentially moving here make sure you subscribe and comment below if you've got any questions and we'll see you next time. Bye guys! See ya!